In today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you can easily use a GitHub Action to create markers on entities throughout your environment using our new change tracking feature. Let's get started. Looking in the GitHub Marketplace, you can find our change tracking action with a quick search for new relic marker. The documentation on this action explains the required and optional properties and gives examples of functioning action configurations for you to use, which are all echoed in our public documentation site here for easy reference. As you can see, there are four main required inputs for the GitHub action. GUID, which is the entity GUID for the target of your marker, API key, which is a personal user API key for your account, version, a string representation of the version you're creating this marker for, and user, which defaults to GitHub's contextual actor variable. Navigating to my sample repository, you can see for the purposes of this demonstration, the contents of the repo are just the basics needed to actually execute the action. Now note that in your own environment, this workflow would be put into repos where your actual code lives. Taking a look at the sample workflow here, you can see under the on attribute that I have configured this workflow to accept manual execution on the workflow dispatch event, as well as automatic executions when a new release is published. Under the jobs attribute, I have a single job defined with two steps. The first step gathers the version from the tag value of a release and sets the value to a temporary variable. The second step is the actual creation of a change tracking marker and you can see here that I am using that temporary variable from step one under the version field, along with a number of the variables that GitHub has available by default. The API key and GUID attributes, you may notice that the values are both coming from GitHub secrets, which allows me to securely pass sensitive information into my workflow. Now, in our documentation, there are notes on the various ways you can find the entity GUID you need, but for our purposes, I'll simply navigate to my application inside of New Relic and click the tags icon under the service name in order to expose the GUID value that I can copy. Back in the repo, you can find the GitHub secrets in your settings under the secrets and variables submenu. Now I'll show you how to generate some markers using the workflow we've created. Clicking on the actions in the repo top menu will bring you into the UI showing all of the workflows you've built. From here, I can manually execute a workflow as long as it has the workflow dispatch event trigger. Running this workflow will create a new entry in the UI and it generally takes about 15 seconds to complete. Now, let's publish a release for this repo to kick off the automated action. Navigating back to the repo's main page, I can find the releases section in the right-hand navigation, which will bring me to the UI where I can tag and build a release. So when I click Publish, my action will automatically start based on the event trigger we have set up in the configuration file. Coming back to our Actions section, I can see the automated run here, and clicking on the run will allow me to drill into the individual job and check out the logs for this execution, which will include the translated variables we sent to New Relic. Note that our GitHub secrets will remain obfuscated in these logs. Heading back over to the New Relic platform, I can see both of my markers here, and clicking on them brings up the analysis page where you can see all of the decorations I added, including a direct link to the repository's changelog. Thanks for watching today's episode, and be sure to check out the description below where you'll find links to our documentation that will go into more detail about change tracking in the New Relic platform. And stay tuned for future episodes where we'll cover creating custom dashboards with change tracking markers and integrating change tracking into your other CI CD tools. Uh -huh.